Hello everybody, hopefully you're all doing very well. Today I want to dive into the Season 3 update, or I should say the preview for the update, which will be coming up on 9pm PST on Wednesday, be the 21st, and that's when we're going to have this new update. Now today I want to talk about, right into it, without any nonsense in the way like other YouTubers, this Ural Mountains map that we've been wanting for so long to replace Verdansk. Many of us have wanted a new map. We've been hearing all these rumors about the reskin is coming up tomorrow or next week for this nuke event, and people are really tired of it because it's very lazy. We've had the map for over a year now. And today, we finally have an update on it, and it's going to disappoint many of you. It disappointed me as well. And what this is, is that Cold War will be receiving the Ural Mountains map for their little battle royale thing that's coming out mid-season, and Verdansk is not going to be replaced by Ural Mountains. It says it's going to be replaced by the nonsensical 1980s map, which, again, is a letdown for many of us. I understand the frustration out of it. It appears that they're really going all out in Cold War this season. You can tell because in this image here, you're having Captain Price. You're having Standoff, which was in Black Ops 2 originally. It was a very fun map, especially getting out of it with the CTF mod, if you all remember that back in the day, that game mode. Really good domination points, really fun. DSRs and blisters would, would be in the windows, and they'd also run around quick in Very fun map. They're adding back the ballistic knives, which have been in Black Ops 1 and 2 organically, and then in loot boxes and Black Ops 3 and 4. Makes sense. I, I kind of expected this to come back this season. Fire Team. For those who own Cold War, you're now getting a new mode. It's multi-team in the fire team map, so Duga, Ski Slopes, Sanatorium, all those, the forest one. But that's going to be a battle royale-like mode where you loot up for weapons, have armor, survive, and then try to win at the end. And essentially, I understand why they're doing this, even though it frustrates us. Now, just because Warzone is not getting the Euro Mountains doesn't mean that the same mechanics don't apply. Now, I know the TTK and Black Ops Core people love it, and then I, when I played the Alpha, it seemed like it was really high, like it was Blackout 2.0. Uh, but that's just my opinion. But essentially, the same mechanics of armoring and everything between from Fire Team applies here. This looks like it's going to be a quads-based mode. It may be less, I don't know. It kind of looks like Blackout 2.0, but on a much smaller scale. And I understand the reasoning behind this. Obviously, there's a lot of issues porting this map to the IW8 engine that Modern Warfare and Warzone use. I understand that would take a lot of assets, having to retexture everything, having to reskin everything, remap everything, change the nodes. It's a lot. I understand that. Especially the AAA company getting, you know, six billion per year just based off of just purchasing stuff in the store alone. I think it, you could put a little bit of effort into that. But I understand why it's not right now. Now, of course, that's you know, getting you to buy Cold War. That, it's, it's a whole marketing thing. They, and I'm sure there will be people who buy it. And if you do buy Cold War and you don't have it already because of it, I don't blame you. Because we've all wanted those Euro maps, so I'm not going to buy it for one. But we've all wanted the Euro Mountains map for so long, and finally, we're kind of getting it, but it's only if you get it in Cold War. Now, there is a trade-off to this, right? Because even though Warzone itself and, and the IW8 engine is not getting it, you have to realize we're still keeping the mechanics of this engine in Warzone, so we're not having the Cold War physics, thank God, as dreadful as they are, from the Alpha to now. We're not having the Cold War physics go into Warzone now, as, long, as far as we can see. It looks like Warzone is going to be on the same engine from the leaked trailer that we pretty much everyone saw, right? The one where they're shooting RPGs and it's very unfinished. It's the same engine, so no need to worry about that there. But I just want to update you all and let you know that, yes, the Euro Mountains is coming, but only mid-season, it seems like. It's, there's no clear date on it, but it says it's going to be basically teams of four, and you survive to the end. It does not seem like Euro Mountains is coming anytime soon. And what I'm personally hoping, and this is just my opinions here, is I would, even though it may not happen, I don't see it happening, but what I would hope is that this 1980s is just a phase. This, this rescue for Adler nonsense, it's just a temporary map. Because they didn't, it looks like they didn't put a whole lot of effort into it. Just the stadium has changed and a few other things. It's new satellites, it's about it. And then the skybox. But hopefully this is temporary. And when this Rescue Adler thing is done, or midway through the season, maybe we can get this 1980s map to be Euro Mountains, and by then they can get it ported over. Trust me, I do not see this happening, but that's how I would want it to happen, and how it should happen. Let me know down below what you all think, because we all have different opinions, but it seems like we, again, have another Cold War marketing propagandic thing here. So you can go buy Cold War and play their little Blackout 2.0 thing. But that being said, let me know down below what you think is going on with Euro Mountains, because this is what we have right now. But do you think it might actually come to Warzone in the IW engine later on? Let us know down below. With that being said, I'm Cyblox, and I'm signing out, and take care.